people my name is Bridget and welcome back so today we're doing a video you guys requested so hopefully you'll like it today we're testing out the original KVD everlasting liquid lipsticks versus the new ones now this is a new hyper light formula I have two colors here because I didn't know which one I liked better and we're gonna test out the old formula versus the new now this is a new liquid lipstick this is not an old one that's sitting around my closet forever I actually ordered this last month before they got rid of the originals so these are all new liquid lipsticks that I'm gonna be testing out for you today I want to test the formula comparison are these new lever everlasting lipsticks actually hyper weight are they more flexible do they have the same great coverage and matte finish I don't know and we're gonna test it versus the original so let's get started all right before we get started I do want to give a quick shout out to my small business theopencrypt.com it is you know one woman operation I'm doing it all we have a whole bunch of new things including these strawberry shortcake earrings in case you're not into the spooky stuff these are precious and also I love strawberry shortcake like I love cheesecake too but sometimes the shortcake is just like mm. or a pizookie delicious I love desserts so that's what we have those and also we do have spiderweb necklace holders being printed every single day here at my house um, for seven hours each and those things are really good for holding your necklaces and we even have the pegs at a five degree angle so they don't slide off we also have wax melts earrings accessories home stuff all that so if you want to check it out I'll leave it down below and now let's get started talking about the liquid lipsticks now the original everlasting liquid lipstick that I have here is called Hawk Wind I also have bow and arrow but that's more of a nude and that's been in my closet for a while so I wanted to show you this formula as it is a newly opened liquid lipstick I wore this once last week and it was a really pretty color it is a really full coverage matte finish. I will say the original Everlasting Liquid Lipstick formula is a little bit on the dry side, but not uncomfortable where I can't wear it kind of dry, but it does, it's not the most flexible formula in the world. So that's what I'm hoping they improved with the new Hyperlite one. But it's, again, the Hyperlite name kind of scares me because I feel like it's not gonna be as full coverage. So we have Hawkwind as this color. Now let's talk about what the difference the new formula is. I have the shades Dead Nettle 22 and Queen of Poisons 10. Now, if you go on KVD Beauty's Instagram, it gives you a little chart here. It says, if you like the shade Lolita, it is, you need to try this new shade, Queen of Poisons or Dead Nettle. So I bought both of those two shades because they looked prettier on the website. And they also say, if you like Hawkwind, which is this color, people like Snake Willow. However, Hawkwind is more of a red terracotta-y kind of color and Snake Willow looks brown. So I'm not really sure how accurate these things are. It's supposed to be a more flexible, more comfortable, soft formula, but same great coverage. So we're gonna find out. Let's open up Queen of Poisons first because this is the one I wanted the most. And also I love when things are on Ulta's website. Ooh, the component's different. I didn't expect the component to be so different. I don't know why. So here is the original. And then here is the new packaging. The new packaging has these little has little ridges on it it's very sleek there's like barely any like this has decorative stuff decorative stuff this doesn't have anything on it just has the kvd logo on the top and then on the bottom it tells you the color this component is very pretty so this is the shade queen of poisons right here a little more wet looking as you can tell pretty color definitely pulls very purple like Lolita did and also I know the shade Lolita like the name was very controversial and that's another reason to get rid of it and now let's swatch Dead Nettle this packaging is like really pretty though so Dead Nettle also size comparison they're pretty much the same height so Dead Nettle is supposed to be again another color similar to the original Lolita oh and it is they're very similar this one's just slightly more red so here are the two new shades that I bought this one's more red this is Dead Nettle, and this one's Queen of Poisons. They're pretty freaking similar. I feel like they should have expanded their shade range. I feel like when it was Kat Von D's brand, there was a lot more fun colors. Now it seems a lot more subtle, subdued colors. And I really wanted the original liquid lipstick shade Vampira. So I went to two local Ulta's looking for like the original one. They did not have any Vampira in stock, so I'm sad about that, but let's get started trying these on instead of me complaining that i wanted the original one and i couldn't get it now we're trying on all three colors today we're going to start off with the original formula though just so we get a good basis for how the original formula was and how much it has been improved so this is hawkwind as the color all right so here's the shade hawkwind 
good color again good formula really nice saturation on these like the pigmentation is there for me however i do always feel like when it's drying down you really feel it there's some liquid lipsticks like for example jeffree stars where you know it's gonna dry down on you but you don't feel it like closing on your lips if that makes any sense at all so halfway dry now i have no complaints about it other than the fact that i can feel it drying this does this formula tends to wear on the inner butthole rim of the lip you know but honestly just take it with you when you go free application not really necessary unless you're like getting something really oily like a if you're eating burritos or something really oily like pizza burritos you might want to reapply it in the inner corner but most or the inner lip but most of the time you don't have to so completely dry now there's a little line right here i don't know if that's from me not applying it correctly or the formula stuck to my lip but you get the idea let's move on now to the other one and i'll let you know comfortability difference formula everything all right time now for the queen of poisons which is the first one we swatched that's the first one i'm gonna do look how similar all these look on my hand even though they say that this hawkwind one is supposed to be a brown like usually when i buy liquid lipsticks that have been out for a while i will google it and I can watch, I can see people's pictures wearing it. And that's so much more realistic to me than the promo colors, you know, because like this is not a brown. It's just kind of a burgundy. So let's do Queen of Poisons, which is going to be this more purpley shade. One, very petite little doe foot on it. Really cute, not too many fuzzies, which on the fuzzies on the ends, sometimes it gets in my way. So let's see what I think. Color's very pretty smell the smell of sweet the original formula doesn't have a smell this smells sweet going back in for a second dip now i feel like i needed more product all right so while this dries down let's talk about it here's the color up close see the streakiness right there i'm gonna go ahead and fix that while we're looking at it you know didn't like that Okay, now that's drying down more, let's talk about it. The color is really pretty. The color is really pretty. I like the color. Um, it's a little kind of a purpley maroon kind of color is what I'll describe it as. It looks pretty. The formula, very easy to apply. We did have that little bit of streakiness. I had to go over the top lip a little extra, but it feels soft. Like it doesn't feel heavy on my lips. I will say the inner rim of my top lip where it's drying down does feel a little bit dry but it's not again uncomfortable it's very sticky where it's drying down right now there's popo and uh the color's really pretty but i do feel like the the line of my lip isn't as crispy i feel like the other one was a little more pigmented so i can give that really crisp line but also it did feel a little heavier on my lips so it's a little bit of a give and take there do i want it really full coverage not to touch it up at all because you get that but then you also get it being less comfortable. This is much more movable, less uh, less dry and crunchy on my lips. So I do definitely feel the hyper lightness. But when I rub my lips together, now they're dry. It feels a little... It's not... I don't want to say sandy. Because I don't feel sand grit. Um, but it is a weird texture. So... Yeah, I feel like this side of my lip I didn't get the crispiest line on. However, the formula is comfortable as hell, which is very nice for people who don't like liquid lipsticks. This is being a little bit of a pain to take off too, so I think that says something for the staying power already. So that formula obviously has some staying power because even with a makeup wipe, not just a baby wipe, makeup wipe, it was a little hard to remove. So that's good because you don't want it to go away when you're living life, but it did stain definitely stain my lips more than the other one did so leaves a little residue but it's very comfortable but the edges on my lips didn't feel as crispy it's not quite as pigmented i don't know but either way we're gonna try this next one which is dead nettle and for context it's this one on my hand they look real similar all right so this is the color dead nettle this color has a little more red, a little more terracotta a little less purple in it, which I think I like the other one more, just because this isn't quite a red. 
it's kind of like on the verge of red to me. I need to like be a bolder red or be more brown. I think that's just where I'm at with it. It's not a bad color and I'll probably wear it, but I feel like I was going to wear this color. I'd probably just go for something a little more bold. <laughs> but uh, anyways, this one, again, very comfortable. Uh, and the formula is nice. I love the new packaging. The packaging is stunning. I really love the new packaging. I like the original packaging too. However, this one's a little bit thicker and it gives me a little more something to hold on to. I felt like whenever I used the original one, it was a little more delicate for me to like use. So I like this one better. I will say I like the slight better pigmentation on the original. This is again, a little less pigmented, but it is really comfortable. And the fact that it stayed my lips and the fact that it was harder to move is kind of a benefit to me because I don't want it to go away. Like, I don't touch it on makeup very often. Let's be real. So I'd rather it last a long time and maybe I'll have a little bit of redness on my lips the next day. So freaking be it. But it does feel like a little, again, it's not gritty like Stan, but it has like that, that matte, think of like velvet rubbing paper feeling together. And that's how I'm going to describe it is like on well, my lips touch what it feels like however the colors are really pretty now I wish again that the colors were a little more bold this is supposed to be their like third rebrand and it's all tattoo focused and uh, tattoos are a bold thing usually so I would like more bold colors I would love to see a like a, a navy a navy lipstick or like a lot of darker browns. I feel like a lot of the new colors that they came out with, but again, they're new and it is an investment to change your formula. So I get that you can't come out with so many colors at once. I would like to see more browns and stuff. And also, um, KVD Beauty, if you ever see this video, can you send me Vampire <laughs> or the new dupe for Vampire? Because I just really want that color, but I can't find which of the new shades will be the equivalent. So. There's that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. This was fun. I like the new shades and I'm glad I got them. And I like the fact that I have an Ulta credit card because I made this real easy, you know. But I will see you guys in the next video. Please check out my small business at theopencrypt.com linked down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Have a great day.